Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing a first impression, demo, and review of the new, some new Morphe palettes. So I first have the Morphe 8W blush palette, the Morphe 8C blush palette. These are their new, um, like, what is it, 8 pan blush palettes? I forget. Yeah, 8 shade blush palettes. I have them both. I have the new Morphe 25C Hey Girl Hey eyeshadow palette. And I have one of the new Blushing Babe trios in Pop of Poppy. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys some quick swatches. In the video, you'll see like a few swatches of the blushes. You'll see this full eyeshadow look. I do have one, the blush palettes right now. Um... The rest of my face was done off camera, just like this video isn't too, too long. And at the end, of course, as usual, you would get final thoughts. So we're going to go ahead and try these new Morphe palettes out. I'm so, so excited for this video. I hope you guys are too. I'm not going to ramble too much. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Make sure you subscribe and thumbs up this video. I'm um, going to click that notification bell because I am pushing out these uploads. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you all at the end. All right, everybody, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm really excited for today's video because I have so many products to try. So this is the Morphe 25C palette, the Hey Girl, Hey palette. Um, funny story is that when I saw this, the main reason why I got it is because people who know me in my personal life know that's like my number one greeting, like, Hey Girl, Hey. So I thought that was really cute. And this is the palette. This is like, these tones are all up my alley. So, um, I don't entirely know what I'm going to do. Last night, I was just, I just kept like pondering what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. Because I really don't want to reach for anything else other than this palette, which is what I try to do when I do looks like this. So let's just get started. My eyes are already primed. I'm going to try to tell you what shades I'm using. I hate this. I really do. I'm going to first dip into... Sienna, shade Maddie, which is right here. It's like another um, warm brown, or just a little bit lighter. All right, now that that's laid down to my liking, I'm then gonna go into the shade. Oh, these are all girl names. I'm looking like, what is happening? Okay, these are all, oh, because Hey Girl, Hey Palette. Ah, I got you, Morphe. Um, to deepen up the crease a little bit, Sophie, which is right here. And then at the Sophie, we're going to dip into a little bit of Lucy, which is right here. And... I'm going to take that same brush that I just used, and we're going to dip into Sophie. Sophie is like a reddish, it's a matte shade, so like a reddish um, brown. And I'm going to use this to blend into the first shade we used, which is Maddie. Dip into that. So many shades are like calling my name in this palette. That's why I really don't know what to use. So now that's laid down, I'm gonna dip into Lucy, which is like a very toned down magenta, very toned down. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm popping this into my crease. My boyfriend is texting me. That's why my phone is going off like that. I'm taking Lucy into the crease. I should have used Summer. So I'm going to stop here. I want like a bigger pop in the crease, so I'm going to dip over to Summer, which I said is that really vibrant, really vibrant magenta. So I'm going to go ahead into Summer, 
and pop that right on top of Lucy. I actually really love that name. Like women and women who are named Summer, I think that's so pretty. Like You guys wanna know girl names I'm obsessed with? If I have a daughter, her name is gonna be Noel. Like let me just get that out there. My daughter name will be Noel. Um the shade Giovanni for a girl. Um, funny story about that, when I was in elementary school, I had a girl in my class named Giovanni, and I always thought that she was so freaking pretty. So that's how I became obsessed with that name, but like, my daughter's name will be Noelle. Um, that shade somewhat reminds me of Love Letter from the ABH, um... Modern Renaissance. So now that that's all blended, blended in the way I want it to, I am going to go a little deep in the crease later. But we're going to go ahead and I'll just do it now. So just to deepen up the crease, I'm going to take one of my newest favorite brushes. And that is this ColourPop brush and it's the E9. Really pointy at the tip. Like I love this for like really getting in there and concentrating a color on the outer V. Um, or even starting that crease with this brush and then blowing it out with a fluffier brush. So I'm going to take the shade, I think you pronounce it Emmy, E-M-I-E, Emmy, and which is a really dark plum, like. Now for the lid. I've decided that I'm not going to do glitter. I really just want to stick to this palette. So this shade Sydney is calling my name. Like, please use me. So I'm going to use Sydney. It's like a vibrant pinky tangerine shade. That's Sydney. I'm going to use that for the center of my lid. And it is, it has like a slight shimmer. This is the only shade where the texture to me on the finger seems a bit i don't want to say weird but it's just a little different um i can't explain it and it isn't crazy pigmented and at first it reminded me of the shade create from the um data create palette I did a tutorial on it and on my lid it had the shade Create. It reminds, I think it's called Create, yeah. It reminds me of that, but just not as pigmented. But as you can see, I'm layering it on just in the center of the lid. And it's layering really nicely. I would even try using this wet. I'm trying to use as many colors as I can. So you guys and me, so we all can get the, you know, a nice feel of this palette before I do my final thoughts at the end. Now, for the inner corner, the shimmers in here are beautiful. I'm just going to tell you right now. I'm going to take this shade. This is called Grace. Yes. This is called Grace right here. And Grace is a really pretty, like, rosy shimmer. And it has, like, a little bit of, like, silver flux in it. Just a little bit. So that's Grace right here. Uh, even though it's a lot lighter in tone than the, than the shade Summer, it didn't really translate that way on the eyes. So, we're gonna dip into the shade Gino. A really nice shimmery light champagne right here. Just took a little bit. And then blend it into the inner corner. Might as well. Um, This shade I'm using now, Gino, a little bit chunky. Chunkier than the other shades I've used. And making sure to blend it into Sydney so it doesn't have like that line. I 
So I'm gonna go ahead off camera and finish up the rest of my face. But this is the eye look we're working with. And I really do like it. So I'm gonna go ahead off camera and finish the rest of my face. We'll come back and do the lower lash line, a little blush and highlight, and then we're gonna talk about these new Morphe palettes. All right, you guys, I am back. So we're gonna jump into the lower lash line. After I did my concealer and everything, I need to add a little bit more of that Gino shade. Well, I don't know how to pronounce that. Because I lost a little bit of that putting on my concealer. Um, really quickly, I'm going to run through what I have on my face. I'm going to try to leave it in the description box. Sometimes I forget. So, I have my Milani foundation. Um, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Kat Von D Press Powder, Locket Press Powder, um, Laura Mercier Translucent and Deep, an ABH Blush Palette to Contour. That's better. What is? These are House of Lashes Iconic Lashes. Whatever. Don't mind my hair either. It's a mess. So now we're gonna dip to the lower lash line. And I'm trying to use as many shades as I can. Um, we're gonna use the shade Amy. Yeah. We're gonna use this shade right here called Amy. It's a really muted, like reddish brown. It looks very similar to Sophie. Like Amy maybe is like a smidge lighter, but they look very similar. So I'm going to take this Morphe E30, E23. I love this brush. I'm going to dip into Amy a little bit. I don't want to go too crazy on the lower lash line. Oh, yeah. That's pretty. That is a beautiful shade. This shade is so pretty. My eyes are begging me to do an old matte look with this palette. Like, begging. Then, also on the lower lash line, I'm going to dip back into Emmy, E-M-I-E, -E, which is the dark shade we use on the crease. I'm just going to take a little bit on that same ColourPop brush and just run it super close to my lower lash line. I love this eye look. Okay, so now we're going to dip into blush. So we're done with this palette. Um, I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts, of course, in the end. So that we're done with that. So now we're going to dip into blush. So I can't pile a bunch of blushes on my face today because I am going to work. But I am going to take the 8C. This is the Cool Pro palette. Cool, cool Pro blush palette. And to go with this look, I want to use the shade Queen. Uh, let's see the 8W. I did use the 8W yesterday for work, and I enjoyed it. Let me see what, let me tell you guys what shade I used. And then, as a little bit of a, my, to start my highlight, I used a little bit of Witty. No, I use Babe, and I really like that. I really only bought this palette for this one shade, which is called Provocative, but moi, I'm happy to know that I can use it. Witty reminds me of Orgasm by NARS. Um, because the eyes are so bold, I do want to go light on the blush, so we're going to try the shade apologetic so i'm taking this morphe g5 i love the morphe g series and i'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of unapologetic okay it's a very neutral neutral blush but it does show up a little bit on deeper skin it gives me like a light peachy flush which me personally some for most days that's what I go for and I also have the wanted to blush palette by NARS if you guys want a video on this let me know I think I might do it anyways 
Um, I might just do that video anyway, but so that's apologetic. Yeah, nice warm peachy flush. And this would be a great blush to mix with because it's so warm. That's pretty. Really quickly, I'm going to just swatch a few shades for you. So this is the 8W. This is the warm one. I'm going to swatch Witty, Beat, M Moi, or M-U-A, and Provocative. They don't show much on the hand, but that doesn't mean they're not going to work well on the face because, like, MUA swatches terrible, but on the cheeks, it was beautiful yesterday. Literally, it was, I was really in the mirror like, this is beautiful. So that's the 8W. So I'm going to take a clean hand, and I'm going to swatch the 8C. And we're going to do free, hot, Ego and drama. So this one swatches a lot better. So now for a highlight. Oh, and I have the um trio in Pop of Poppy. Look at this. Look how pretty that is. Like, are you kidding me? And we have the shade Risky. Oh, provocative and bold this is bold provocative and risky kinda can see it with my tattoos we're gonna try bold as a highlight though so if you don't and you know what's funny when I first saw pictures of these even on the website when you compare the bigger palettes to the smaller ones, I did notice that a lot of the shades looked alike. So what I'm thinking is, and I will find out for you guys and leave it in the description box. Please check the description box. I'm going to find out if these trios, if some of the shades are repeated in the bigger ones. So that way, honestly, if that's the case, just get the bigger ones. So I'm going to find out. And I promise you guys, I'm going to leave it in that description box. Because this shade is in the 8W. The shade, um, provocative. Let me see if any of the, of, at least, I'm assuming that at least one shade from each trio are in these bigger ones. I'm just going to assume. But the shade Risky doesn't look like any of the shades in here. It's a little bit deeper than MUA. And Bold is a little bit bronzier than Ego. So I'm going to set my face, actually. I prefer to set my face first before I apply highlight. And I'm testing out the new, not the new, but the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I'm testing it out. I love the packaging of these trios. So now, yo, this Tatcha um, Primer, the Silk Canvas. Honey. So we're gonna try the shade Bold, which is that shimmery bronze as a highlight. It's like a shimmery copper bronze. That's pretty. That's really pretty. This is pretty. Now, they don't call these blush and highlights. They just call them blush trios. But honestly, I could see bold. I could see me using bold as a blush. Because of the tone. But for a highlight, it's really pretty. Not too overpowering. This is so pretty for deeper skin tones. If you are deeper skin tone, get Pop of Poppy. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. This is really pretty. Nice, subtle highlight. It isn't like blinding, but you can definitely, definitely see it. So that's everything, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and apply a quick lip. Um, and we're going to get into some final thoughts. 
Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into some final thoughts. So first thing first, we're going to start with the eyeshadow palette. And I love this. It's like I said in the beginning, it's only $18. Links for everything will be in the description box. I de like this, Morphe, we gotta stop. But I definitely see myself using this every day for a quick everyday look. Or you can go all out like I did. This palette would be great for a smoky. If you guys follow me on Instagram... All my social media is in the description box. Please, please follow me. I mean, if you find me on Instagram, you know lately I've been really dipping and dabbing into my smoky eyes. Um, but I love this. The shimmers in here are beautiful. This copper shade is stunning. That gold, beautiful. The shade Summer is like oh, this shade down here that I use in like to deepen my crease. Beautiful. I love this. Like, and then I just want to quickly compare it to the Modern Renaissance. Because I know a few people were saying that it looks like it. If I had to say Love Letter and Ventine Vint Red are similar to Summer in the shade next to it. But other than that, I don't really see much more of a comparison. Um, so if you have the ABH Modern Renaissance like I do, you can definitely still pick this up. I love the mattes in here. I love the shimmers. This palette is beautiful. Honestly, if you were thinking about... You know what this palette does remind me of? This thing here. I use the 24G every, every, every now and then, but they do, I feel like, are slightly similar, slightly similar shades, um, but I would skip this and get this. If you guys have seen my review on it, you guys know this is really not my favorite Morphe palette. I do use it every now and then to create, like, a nice, cute, soft look, and I like the looks that I come out with, but that's a palette that I still feel like I could have skipped and got something else. So that one is $29.99. A $24.99. I forget, but this is $18, and this is the one that I would pick up. If you are looking for your next Morphe palette, um, this is it for me. Loved this palette. I loved using it. Like, Gino, even though it's a little bit chunky, once you blend it onto the eyes, I didn't get really any fallout from it. Um, and everything else, I got no fallout. They aren't that... They don't give a lot of kickback in the pan. They I love this palette. So, this is a goal for me. The bigger blush palettes. Um, I like these. And I like the price. They're only $20 each. I love the price. Like, the new NARS one that I got, which I love. But this cost me $60. Bucks. And there are some shades in here that are similar to the Morphe palette. I'm not going to say which ones because I've just decided in my head that I'm going to do a comparison for this versus those. So, stay on the lookout for that. But... For these bigger ones, I like them. I like that. I love a good blush palette because you get a great variety. Variety. You guys know the NYX um, blush palette. You guys know I love that. I haven't used it on camera in a while, but trust me, she still gets some use. I haven't used it in a while on camera, but you guys know I love that NYX blush palette. Um... I love the variety you get out of a blush palette, especially for deeper skin tones when we can use some of them as bronzers or as highlights. Like Ego would be a nice highlight or bronzer. These for deeper skin tones, these over here would be really pretty blushes. The three over here, I'm not sure, but Driven probably be a nice highlight. It girl, I could see it working. I love the variety you get. Even if you're a lighter skin tone, you can use Ego as a bronzer, Drama Queen and Drama and Queen as maybe eyeshadows, or even like a really nice deep blush. Just going with the light hand. I love the variety that you get. The only thing I don't like about these is I wish they were more matte shades because that's all about. Per this is the 8W, by the way, and that was the AC. Um. That's, I believe it's more of like a personal preference type of thing. I prefer a matte blush. It's really rare I go in with the shimmery blush. Um, I'm, that's just me. So I wish they had more matte shades. Like in this, in this palette, one, two, three. These four are matte and five are matte. These three are shimmer. But in this palette, uh, most of them are shimmer. I just wish there were more matte shades. But like I said, personal preference thing. Um... These are more of a buildable blush type of thing. I went in with a unapologetic, unapologetic today. And as you guys saw, I went ahead and built it up. And even when I went in with 
MUA yesterday. I had to build it up. These are really thin powdery blushes which are good because you really don't want to go in strong on a blush and then you have to fix it i prefer to build up my blushes and this is what that is so you're looking for like they are pigmented don't get me wrong but you have to really build up to get that pigment um which kind of works out in a way now for the trio um I didn't realize that those shades were the same until I did this video. So like I said, I'm going to find out if these shades, I will compare every blush trio to these blush palettes. And I'm going to leave in the description box if there are repeat shades. Because if there is, I still think you guys should get a trio. Um, depending on how many repeat shades there are. Like in this one, in the pop, uh, Pop of Poppy, the only shade I see a repeat of is Provocative because it's also in the 8W. So, that's not bad. Um, bold as a highlight is beautiful. If you are of deeper skin tone, you are going to love this. Um, pro provocative also reminds me of one of my, one of my favorite bl single blushes of all time, which is um, Cinnamon by NYX. Every summer, I whip that baby right on out. Um, that reminds me of this. I love it. Risky will be a beautiful nude blush. I love nude blushes. Um, so yeah, if you are deeper skin tone, I will say pick this up. And I love the packaging. It has a great quality mirror. I love this. And these are $12 a pop. So that's everything, you guys, on my final thoughts. I loved everything that I tried today. There's nothing that I tried today that I was not in love with. The highlight even is really pretty, really subtle, and it matches this look perfectly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys plan on picking these up? What do you guys think of the face that we did? Let me know. And if you have any questions about anything that's on my face that I didn't show, let me know. I love you all to absolute pieces, and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.